She is the seductive chameleon of the modeling world. When she walks down the runway, heads turn. When she stares into a camera, hearts stop. Stephanie Seymour is a society girl temptress, a dedicated mother who's often seen in nothing but her underwear. I think that people are probably relieved when they find out three kids. Using her playful feline charms, she grew from a sex kitten to a lingerie lioness. What mystery lurks behind these exotic eyes? And who is the millionaire businessman who took stock in Stephanie's heart and struck it rich in love? Next on Model, Stephanie Seymour. Stephanie Seymour is more than just a pretty face. She is, in fact, a hundred pretty faces. Her career snowballed down Versace runways. We loved doing his shows. We loved doing his campaigns. Everything was always the best. It was always to the maximum. She romped with Marcus Schenkenberg in these revealing Avedon photos. I was a little nervous the first day, though. I was, because uh, I was basically naked. She splashed across ads for Chanel. She was on covers and between them. And in the early years, Stephanie went head-to-head -head against rising stars like Cindy Crawford. It was funny because I remember everybody thought we were sisters and we hated that because, you know, you wanted to be kind of like your own thing. You wanted to be very individual. Ultimately, Stephanie became a supermodel with nothing to lose except for her clothes. Sometimes I get a little chillier than others. And with all this coverage, or lack of it, it wasn't long before Stephanie was swept off her feet by a polo-playing Romeo. I guess I always had a crush on him, and he always kind of had a crush on me. A child was born, there was a wedding in Paris, and a fairy tale life was about to begin. God, it's just, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I have everything. Coming up on Model, get to the bottom of Stephanie's bare assets. Hear about Stephanie's new life in high society. And explore the many faces of the mysterious Stephanie Seymour. I just give sex a bit. Beautiful, Stephanie. Hey, look at me now. Ready? Look at me, I tell you. Stephanie is definitely sexy in a, in a very animalistic way. I think she's very animal and she has a, a unique way of posing and using her legs and moving her hair and playing with her eyes, which is what makes her very sexy to me okay, and to a lot of other people. She had this innate ability wherever you put her, it wasn't just to look beautiful, it was to move. So the photographer could keep snapping and he never had the same picture twice. Yet when she was young, Stephanie Seymour considered herself clumsy and awkward. The thing that I think everybody in the family would say is that we were all just so gawky. Stephanie's cousin William was a bosom buddy of the blossoming seductress. She just had a lot of growing pains, her, you know, her legs hurt. She was uh, just tall, tall, tall. All models think they were ugly when they were little girls, except maybe Vendela. I always wanted to be a model or an actress or something like that. I mean, that was always my dream since I was a little girl. That dream seemed ready to become a reality when Stephanie was just 14. Her mom was, like, really into photography, and at that time, it was taking pictures of Stephanie. Stephanie's mother was the major force in her daughter's career. The budding teenager was soon looking for places to submit her first photographs. And I came upon these contests and one was for Elite's contest, the Look of the Year. Elite's Look of the Year was the first stop for the world's aspiring models, a talent search for future photo phenomenals. About three months later, I heard back from the Look of the Year, so that's how it all started. Thousands applied, only 70 were called. I didn't think I was anything so special. I just had dreams, so I was over the moon. I'm Stephanie Seymour, and I come from San Diego, California. And then there were 12 finalists. Amongst the finalists were Cindy Crawford, me. And among Stephanie's other opponents was the shimmering Hunter Reno. A lot of big girls came out of that contest. The winner of a total of $200,000. I didn't win. But neither did Cindy. 
And although Stephanie didn't come home with the award, she kept her eye on the prize, a future in modeling. One of the positives, rather than to talk about the bad sides of starting so young, the good sides about it are, I don't think you really think too much about failing or succeeding. You just do it. Eventually, that persistence paid off. She had some uh, contest in Mexico, and then she went to New York. It was really exciting. And then she was, like, in New York working, you know, right away. Well, my mother loved it because she probably could have been a great model. Once again, Stephanie's mother became the defining force in her daughter's life. So my mother really kind of pushed me, and my father, he didn't like the idea too much, but he didn't want to hold me back. I think it was really all along, uh, you know, Steph's choice, what she wanted to do. It would mean moving to New York. Lovely. It would mean giving up a bit of her youth. And it would mean the beginning of a new life. Wonderful, Stephanie, perfect. Coming up on Model, we'll learn the secret behind Stephanie's electrifying look. When you look at the photographs, uh, it's very telling that there's something going on behind her. And Stephanie reveals the man who revitalized her career. He made me love modeling again. And the loss that shook an industry. It's, it's so horrible how he died, and it's just such a tragedy. There's always something... After overcoming early disappointment, super seductress Stephanie Seymour was poised to conquer the world of modeling. It's not something that I sat around and thought about. I just wholeheartedly went in and did it. Coming up, Stephanie takes a dip in Sports Illustrated's Ocean of Sensuality, and she shares her grief at the loss of a fashion icon. Look at me now. Voila, fibosa. Very nice. Stephanie's budding career took her to fashion capitals around the world. Once I came back from Paris, there was no going back. It wasn't long before Stephanie pulled her first chameleon-like transformation, first hitting the runways. From there, I went to the Sports Illustrated bathing suit issues, and I think that's when a real turning point started to happen. Julie Campbell produced and edited 32 swimsuit editions. The thing that's most remarkable about Stephanie, for me, is that you could give her a very tough uh, location or uh, a corner and a white wall and say, Stephanie, I want you to do something wonderful. It was wonderful as she worked her charisma for two issues of the Prurient Periodical. Stephanie would just cuddle up to the wall. It might be a shoulder. It might be how she has her head. It was never an overt movement. It was comfortable and it was natural. But it was so easy when she did it. With Sports Illustrated, Stephanie proved her powers, including the monumental hold of her glamorous gaze. If I can take every new face in this agency and show her what a real model is, um, I would take them to a Stephanie Seymour shoot. Stephanie works her eyes like an ardent Medusa. One look and you're hooked. I think she is an actress and that she will close her eyes and then she'll look up into the camera and she'll look not into the camera but through the camera and beyond the camera. I think the eyes are very, very one of the most important things in a photograph. Her technique is, is very much her own. I've never seen quite the same exact technique from the other girls. The idea that people would ever think that models just kind of like, uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh, mm-hmm. You can't do that. The way she holds herself, the way she walks, are all devastatingly distinctive. I just have my sexy own little kind of walk, and I don't try to do anything fancy because I'm not... I'm not a graceful runway girl. I could trip easy. But her most admired trait is the one her many fans rarely get to see. Stephanie is, is what I would call sweet. 
She's unique because she's extremely nice at the same time to, to everyone, you know, which is uh, in this business pretty rare, actually. Stephanie's got the look and the heart, and she's used both to snare some of fashion's most prestigious jobs. One of the most historic campaigns was the Versace Richard Avedon shooting. Um, I think people got to see Stephanie really come off the page. I'm not exactly sure what it did for my career, but I know that working with Richard Avedon changed how I felt about modeling. In these groundbreaking Avedon photos for Ego East, Stephanie's many faces took on a new elegance and an even greater allure. I loved working with him. I mean, it's all about becoming a character, and he just understands how to make each picture so full and so rich. And in these stunning Avedon pictures for Versace, Stephanie and superhunk Marcus Schenkenberg pushed the marriage of sex and fashion to new heights. For Marcus, the chemistry was very real. Working with Stephanie uh, was great. I, I actually had a crush on her when I first started modeling. But while the session was memorable, it is Versace who will always be in Stephanie's thoughts. Very, very charming and a good person, you know? Not the kind of person that should have been taken away from the world like that. Coming up on Model, Stephanie reveals her secret. I guess everyone always follows her around and saying, are you the, are you the Victoria's Secret girl? And what happens when two symbols of sensuality knock hips? Fashion emergency. I'm in trouble. Ma'am, take a deep breath. Okay. Now tell me what's wrong. I've got nothing to wear. I'm bloated. My hair is horrible. My shoes are out of date. I need a new look, but I have no money and no time. All right, turn your TV to E and watch Fashion Emergency. Fashion emergency? It's the only weekly makeover show of its kind. We've got top designers, makeup artists, and E's, very own fashion experts, to help people like you, people with fashion emergencies. Oh, thank you. Just doing my job. Fashion emergency, starting December 29th, only on E. It's a very magic holiday special. Magic, I'm really feeling the holiday spirit. Hey, Dickie, what about my holiday spirit? It's Morgan Fairchild. Hi, Magic. It's, it's Morgan, Morgan Fairchild. Hi, boys. Oh, you shouldn't have Morgan. But I did. Old Navy has great gifts under $10. You all need gifts. <laughs> Magic, this is for you. Happy holidays, everyone. Gifts under $10? Fabulous. My microwave died. Can I use yours? Yeah, thanks. New Campbell's Home Cooking Cream of Mushroom Soup. Hey, mushroom soup. But yours looks richer than mine. Try some. I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. It's low fat. Fresh mushrooms in a creamy broth. And it's 98% fat free. Only from home cooking. Mmm. Take all you want. Gee, thanks. I will. Campbell's Home Cooking. Also a 98% fat free clam chowder. Great taste. Never looked better. He knows when you've been sleeping. He knows when you're awake. Sounds like you need a restraining order. That's Talk Soup tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern and Pacific, only on E. Tired of struggling to remove... When an accident happens, you have a choice of who repairs your car. Don't let an insurance company choose for you. Choose Big Z Collision Center with locations in Fontana and San Bernardino. We're the insurance repair specialist in the Inland Empire. Our factory-trained technicians will restore your vehicle to its pre-accident condition quickly using state-of-the-art technology. With our computerized estimating system, you'll get immediate help with your claim and the fastest possible turnaround on repairs. And if you need a rental car, we can make the arrangement. Big <laughs> Mm -hmm. If you're going to eat a juicy new Carl's Jr. Charboiled Sirloin Steak Sandwich, be careful. It's a jungle out there. If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. Stephanie Seymour climbed to the top of the modeling mountain. But realizing that less is more, she made a daring dive into the pages of Sports Illustrated. Then Stephanie turned a bedroom secret into a national pastime. If you're an angel, I'm a nun. And what happens when the king of lounge, Tom Jones, goes head to head, hip to hip, with the queen of lingerie? Here we go on Stephanie first.
Obviously, I wear Victoria's Secret. It started as a secret, but thanks to Stephanie Seymour, it soon became a household name. Victoria's Secret is a special catalog. I think it, it kind of goes beyond being just a catalog. It becomes very personal. I think no matter what you're shooting, it's important to be comfortable with the photographer, but yeah, probably especially with lingerie. Getting comfortable, that's Stephanie's first step to a sexy lingerie spread. I think you can't do a great picture if you don't connect somewhere with the, the subject that you are, you are working with. You have to, yeah, trust them and feel comfortable with them. And, and I, obviously I feel that way with Antoine. And after you're comfortable, the second step is to get sexy. I think lingerie is sexy, but obviously that's not what makes someone sexy. Sexy, uh, sexy it's, it's very subjective to, to anyone. Sexy can be vulgar, but sexy can be elegant. Sexy can be charming. Sexy can be provocative. You know? Even if I'm not feeling sexy, I make myself feel sexy so that I can do my job and get it done. And getting the job done involves a third step, staying in shape. Well, you excuse the expression. <laughs> I think Stephanie has the best buns and model them. And how does she maintain that look? Not just the best. <laughs> you ruined my future in exercise videos. <laughs> Even after having three babies, Stephanie is still modeling for Victoria's Secret because she manages to stay in shape. Well, they say that nursing is good, flatten the stomach. There's no magic in it. She had her babies. I witnessed her pregnancies and, and the recovery of her shape, which was incredibly quick. And I could hate her for that, but I don't. Getting comfortable, getting sexy, and staying in shape. With these three simple steps, Stephanie turned underwear into outerwear and turned herself into a superstar. From the first moment she hit our pages, the catalog was never the same. Billions of catalogs are sent out. Um, all the time and it comes it's intimate it's in people's homes so you know everybody got to know her from 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 those catalogs Stephanie was already quite famous when she started working for Victoria's Secret I think what it maybe did for Stephanie was bring her into the hands of more and more people there were hands everywhere reaching into mailboxes for a weekly fix of fantasy picks but Stephanie had even bigger thrills in store oh. <sighs> After the unprecedented success of the catalogs, Victoria's Secret cast Stephanie as the star in a series of tantalizing campaigns. First, she went from underwear to beauty care. At Christmas time, she gave Santa a ride. But all this was just a warm-up. Stephanie really hit the heights when Victoria's Secret cast her in its Angels campaign. And here we go on Stephanie first. This time, she floated on air with supermodels Karen Mulder, Tyra Banks, and Daniela Pestova. And there was an even more special guest, a man whose swiveling hips inspired waves of women to fling their lingerie his way. Stephanie, I think it's Tom Jones. They put me in charge of the angels. The meeting of these two icons, Studley Tom and seductive Stephanie, made for a stunningly successful campaign and a job Jones will never forget. I've had underwear thrown at me my whole life, <laughs> but it's never been Victoria's Secret. Coming up on Model, Stephanie goes from an angel to a mother superior. And what does this model do on her days off? When I started to collect art, I saw the world differently. They came from outer space. We've got to stop them! And are using their superior intellect and brute strength. I took my head off in front of the kids. To conquer insignificant earthlings with laughter. <laughs> now, to save the Earth, E gives you an exclusive look behind the scenes at the secret alien society of Third Rock from the Sun. Interplanetary relations will never be the same. Third Rock from the Sun, behind the scenes, this Sunday at 8 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. Why wait till January 1st to make your New Year's resolution? Call 1-800-45-JENNY to get in shape for the holidays. Join now. This is your last week to lose all the weight you want for a dollar a pound, plus the cost of food. Hurry, this special ends on Friday. ID confirmed. Bon.
Bond. James Bond. ID confirmed. ID confirmed. Tart. Caviar. Take a check. Absolutely, James. Just need some ID. Driver's license, license to kill, that sort of thing. Really, 007, you should use a Visa check card. It automatically deducts from your checking account everywhere Visa's accept. Oh, it's going to explode in five seconds. The Visa check card works like a check, only better. Just joking. See, tomorrow never dies. It is nothing you've ever seen. God almighty. It is nothing you've ever felt. Let us know so we can have a chance! It is something you will never forget. This is it! Titanic, rated PG-13. Now playing at theaters everywhere. Hey! Just what I need. Sorry. Jeez. Got you really good, too. Here, take it. No, I, I couldn't. And what are you, 34 ways? Yeah. We got you covered. Wait, what, what are you... Think that's refreshing? Mm -hmm. Try this. The crisp, clear, lemon-lime taste of 7-Up. It's perfect holiday refreshment. Take your car. I insist. Really? It is a wonderful life. It's a very magic holiday special. Magic, I'm really feeling the holiday spirit. Hey, Dickie, what about my holiday spirit? It's Morgan Fairchild. Hi, Magic. It's, it's Morgan, Morgan Fairchild. Hi, boys. Oh, you shouldn't have, Morgan. But I did. Old Navy has great gifts under $10. You all need gifts. Oh, oh. Magic, this is for you. Happy holidays, everyone. Gifts under $10? Fabulous. I'm Steve Kometko. And I'm Dina St. John. We've got all the latest news from the world of entertainment. Right here on the new one-hour E! News Daily. Coming up next, only on E! Stephanie Seymour's romp through Victoria's Secret vastly increased the catalog circulation. And Stephanie's own circulation quickened when she met Peter Brandt. Well, I remember the first time... I really said, you know, kind of, wow, he's really smart. Next, Stephanie hops off the runway for a walk down the aisle. You're alone, yeah? Okay, you're alone on top of the world, and that's nice. In 1993, a gallant knight rode into Stephanie's life and swept her off her feet. He was smart and vibrant, and that really impressed me. Businessman Peter Brandt came from money, but made an even larger fortune on his own. He introduced Stephanie to a new life. He's um, sweet, and he has a great sense of humor, and he's an incredible athlete, and he's, he's a pretty incredible guy. That's why I married him. <laughs> the wedding was a lavishly romantic affair on the outskirts of Paris. I was fortunate to attend her wedding to Peter Brandt, which was... One of the most exciting nights of my life. And then she realized one of her most precious dreams. A lot of girls say to me, oh, yeah, I want to have kids, but, you know, I'm going to wait until I've finished modeling. I, I never thought about that. I just wanted to have a baby, so I had one. I wanted to have another, so I had another. <laughs> I wanted to have another, so I had another. Of Stephanie's many roles, the role of parent is the one she cherishes most. When, when you think of your kids, what pops into mind? Love. <laughs> love. I love my children so much. The wild, sensual seductress has taken on a new face. I have my priorities very straight. I make sure that I have time to work, and I make sure that I have a lot of time with my children, quality time. She now has a life of stately manners. Stephanie is a society woman. First stop, the polo fields. When he's not busy winning Stephanie's heart, Peter is a champion polo player. Polo is a beautiful sport, and it's very dangerous, so it's incredible to watch these guys at the speed that they're riding these horses at. And what's a society woman without a life in the arts? You know, Warhol's one of my favorite, favorite artists, but I can't afford Andy Warhol. <laughs> Gallery owner and famed artist Tony Shafrazi has guided Stephanie through countless high-stakes sales. 
It's famous Dick Tracy. And so this is the beginning of when Warhol begins to uh, paint seriously. And she's become a very serious and a wonderful supporter of the arts. Voila! Perfect, huh? Very nice. Whether it's modeling or collecting, Stephanie approaches both with the same intensity. I collect Clementi, uh, Francesco Clementi, Donald Badgler, Keith Haring, Kenny Sharp. Stephanie has it all. Art, sport, love, and beauty. So which is the real face of Stephanie Seymour? The chameleon-like model or the dedicated mother? And which face will Stephanie be wearing in the future? What will she be doing next? I never talk about it. I either do it or I don't. And if I'm doing it, we'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna think, woo, she was flipping it up. <laughs> They're not going to think about it as long as we look good. Yeah, that's fine. This eye over here. My hair. Oh, yeah. I have him looking. He's looking too. Oh, now he's getting crazy. He's getting franny. Oh, they were so cute. Do I have enough blush? Okay. Hi.